Chaos. Welcome to your September 2020 reading. Thank you for coming back. I love you. You're my last one of the day. So, um, yeah, let's motherfucking get into it. Um, you know, I, I, as a reader, I feel like I should be, uh, following a, uh, a template, a template, a template for everybody. And, um, but I, th I think I'm going to go outside the lines for y'all Aquarius. Okay. So, um, I have these decks that I've been using with everybody today, but I might switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you for coming back. You can always, um, I'd appreciate it. Go follow me on Instagram at grateful underscore Drake for additional content. I do readings every Tuesday and Friday, Tarot Tuesdays and a weekend, weekend read. Okay. <clears throat> Not to mention all the good stuff that comes with me in general. Uh, you know, just watching my stories and just, just having a good time. Okay, so let's start with the Tarot and kind of get a temperature for what's going on. Let me get a little sip of coffee, Aquarius. Happy motherfucking September. Aquarius. 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 Okay, Aquarius. Let's go. Aquarius. Mom. You're not allowed in. I'm doing a reading. Mimi, let that open. Please leave. I'm doing a reading right now. Close the door, please. Well then. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. So, hmm, yummy. All right. So some of y'all are doing some meditation. Hurrah for you. Because I know meditation, getting going in a practice can be hard. I feel like during your meditation practice, you're getting messages from, from spirit. Okay. You're getting, um, inspired, intuitive information. Remember, um, we can be when on the journey of our spiritual on, on our spiritual journeys, we can tend to judge ourselves and, um, misjudge what, is or is not a spirit message okay so what i'm feeling here is that perhaps <clears throat> just trust in what you're seeing and what you're feeling okay because you're definitely getting it <clears throat> this could even be messages and really powerful dreams uh and premonitions while you're sleeping Your world might be kind of turned upside down right now. There might be somebody in your life, Knight of Pentacles comes reverse, who supposed to be, he's supposed to be the stable, reliable, dependable person in your life but maybe right now he might be a little bit off what's this about it feels like it's just a phase it feels like it'll turn around it feels like don't worry hang in there that's how it feels or this knight of pentacles is you uh this reverse knight of pentacles could be you so you could be feeling um very unsteady um, a little bit not like yourself lately. You know, Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign card. Typically, I feel I'm, I'm feeling like in this reading, um, this Knight of Pentacles is signifying you. This is upright. This would be somebody like really reliable, really dependable. Um, you know, somebody who 
maybe even has a career or has picked or, or picks careers that are they know that they can really depend on um, their their source of income is is dependable reliable but perhaps right now that there's something about that I'm gonna pull three cards about this reverse world and this reverse knight of pentacles because we end strong maybe you're getting oh my voice is sound funny maybe you're getting um guidance while you're sleeping or while you're meditating about how to navigate this situation it could be in the home because we finish off on ten of cups ten of cups look how beautiful that is like i mean honestly all your cards are really bomb they're just these two reversals are kind of throwing me off okay so i'm gonna pull some cards on these two reversals to see what what that could be about so it feels like your happiness, your fulfillment is not far. You may even still feel pretty fulfilled, but there's just some aspects here that where there's going to be a shift. There is a shift. It, something needs to be shifted. Something like that, Aquarius. Three clarifiers for Aquarius, please. For this reverse world and reverse Knight of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. 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 One, two, three. Oh my gosh, you got Knight of Pentacles reverse again. So let's talk about the, the Knight of Pentacles since he came up again reverse. Same card, different decks. Knight of Pentacles could be somebody Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But he's somebody uh, reliable, dependable, like I said. He is the only knight out of all the knights where his horse, where his feet are planted, his, his hooves, all four hooves are planted. All the other knights of the deck, uh, the, the horses are rearing up or one leg is up or he's running or he's taking off, something like that. So this is the, the, the dependable noble steed, okay? But when he's reversed, he might be feeling really overwhelmed and burdened by um, his career, his job, his health, um, his family life, okay? There needs to be some sort of, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like this is horrible. Not. It doesn't feel like something really dark and heavy. It feels like something temporary. It feels like something that you're going to move through. Um, it's going to require a period of darkness, right? You guys got the star card. This is the card of Aquarius. So you are showing up in your own reading. More nudity, guys. So um, when I see lots of nudity, it, to me it means like vulnerability. So it could be an emotional time where you're having to face issues that feel, you just feel exposed. It feels exposed. It feels a little uncomfortable. But it's beautiful though because um, we're born naked, right? So this kind of talks about um, feeling comfortable in your skin and, and perhaps whoever this Knight of Pentacles reverse is, they're having to go through a period of kind of a, a rebirth, kind of renewal, uh, healing, um, beginning to see um, what they really want in life. Perhaps the career that felt stable and steady was, um, was just that at a certain point, but no longer is all that fulfilling. So there could be a period of darkness for this person that, that where they're having to re, re, you know, refigure, you know, figure it out. And we have the two of wands, which talks about choices and decisions. Okay. So look at this guy balls in his court. He has a lot of options. 
Come on, focus. Okay, look, he's looking out. He's he's on this balcony. He's looking out. The sea is below. He can see everything. He's very stable. Um, he's got to make a choice that will stand the test of time. There's a new direction for this person. Okay. <clears throat> this is making a plan, setting out, looking forward. Okay, so there's some something going on here with this Knight of Pentacles. Doesn't feel like, doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel looming. It doesn't feel hopeless. It doesn't feel hopeless at all. Okay, let's pull some more cards. Whoa, holy moly, guys. You got three major arcana cards back to back to start with here. All came reversed. So the temperance is your first one. The fool is your second one. And the emperor is the third one. Okay. What are the themes of these cards? This is about opposites, polarities, alchemy, magic, help from our guardian angels. This is about a, a, a new journey, a new beginning, a start. Uh, you're on the, the brink of taking a leap of faith. Okay. This is about this. He's the father and the husband of the deck. This is about, um, issues having to deal with authority and power, um, issues to do deal with order and structure, um, discipline. So it just feels like changes are happening and you guys are trying to figure out what's the next step. What's the next leap of faith that you need to take? Um, it needs to be done with a plan, a clear plan. Emperor, um, perhaps in the past there wasn't... So these, these are all showing up to let us know, maybe perhaps there was some resistance. Maybe you, you guys kind of knew, you kind of knew that there needed to be a change in some area of your life. But, um, oh wow, I just realized the cards up. Oh, those are cool. But, um, you know, there was, there was resistance or for whatever reason to, to this change. But, um, you're starting to see. The, nece the, the necessity of this shift. And then we got six of swords, which is leaving. So this could be leaving a situation. This is basically moving on to a better, something better. Taking a stance and moving forward. Yes, we're going to do this. And yes, good outcome. Three of cups. This is family celebration. This is coming together, social circles. This celebratory energy. Spirit letting you know, like, yeah, do it. Take that leap of faith. Have a plan, though. Have a plan. Be fair. You got to have a nice balance of um, childlike faith, but also, like, that grounding of... Uh, Okay, but what's the plan? Okay, so I know I'm saying kind of two contradictory things. Contradictory, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying two kind of opposing things, but you got to find that middle ground. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius, more details, please. Three cards. Aquarius, about the second round. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. 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 I keep seeing Toys R Us. Um... The Toys R Us that used to be like off Whipple. I think it was off Whipple. Is, is that San Mateo? I don't know where that is, San Mateo. But it's closed now. It's no longer there. So I don't know if that's for somebody. I don't know why I keep seeing that place. Interesting. Wow. Wow. All upright. Bomb ass fucking cards. Look, 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 look. The Nine of Pentacles. This is... Okay. Oh, let me, oh, come on. 
This is being um, taking your time to solve this issue. It may be, um, we may be really talking about something about a career. Um, and if you make this choice, like you, you are super powerful. You're going to make this choice happen. Go into it confidently. And this night, of, this feels like the Knight of Pentacles being blossoming into kind of this King of Pentacles, uh, a promotion, a raise, a, um, a shift in career, a, um, a new way of coming into yourself. Okay. So these are really bomb. I was asking for clarity on this row down here about temperance, the fool, the emperor and moving on. Okay. And the cards are saying that the outcome will be incredibly fulfilling and abundant. Uh, you guys have the power to make this happen. You have the power to make this happen. See how we're doing on time. Where do I want to go next? I think I'm going to go there. Okay, lots of good cards. Nothing too crazy. Aquarius. Going off the grid, y'all. Going off the grid. So I haven't used these for anybody yet. For these 12 readings. Going off the grid. Aquarius, please. Can I get a good shuffle in here? Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. One off the top. There's my book. Ooh, warrior of battle. Okay. Warrior of battle. numbers in this. Oh, is this like a, um, oh, there it is. Okay, so. Fion, okay, so these are Celtic cards. This is called the Celtic Wisdom Tarot. So there's some names in here that I do not know how to pronounce. So bear with me. Fion McComhail. Fion McComhail was raised by two women who instructed him in weapons training and learning. Giving himself the name DM, he apprenticed himself to the Druidic poet Finesses, and learned the craft of poetry and obtained wise insight from eating the salmon of wisdom. Forever afterward, he was able to reveal the unknown by biting his thumb of knowledge. Biting his thumb of knowledge. He rescued the honor of his father's war band, the Fianna, by finding its emblem, the crane bag, Stolen by his father's killer. Okay. Wow. Lost my spot. Because of his battle powers, powers, pro, prowess, Fionn was made head of the Fianna by King Carmack McArt. Fionn's deeds and exploits are found in countless folk stories in Ireland and Scotland in which he champions the weak and overcomes magical tyrannies and enchantments. Soul wisdom. Sometimes we need to set aside our selfish concerns and personal agendas in order to step forward to help the common good. What requires our championship right now? Okay, so this is putting other people's needs before ours. Of 
Aquarius. Aquarius. Lion. Aquarius. 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 Oops. Aquarius. 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 <clears throat> So either of these messages are super disjointed or there's somebody going through something that's like, they totally get, this is like super specific, I feel like. I feel like this is very specific. So you got Venus, the planet of love, combined with Taurus, uh, the sign, uh, well, well, it's an earth sign, okay? So we did see a lot of earth cards uh, with that knight of pentacle and the king of pentacles they're both uh, earth sign people the key word for taurus at least in this deck is the bombshell earthy practical steadfast productive fertile tactile ample worthy ripe pleasure seeking sensuous oh sensuous blooming solid possessive tenacious loyal patient and deliberate combined with north node which is destiny soul school learning curve fulfillment purpose maturing experience fruition north star process development practice so somebody here may be in the the maybe learning a lesson about coming into their own pinnacles in tarot represent finances career but they also represent health they can represent the body and sense, sense of uh, self-worth, self-esteem, okay? So we did get a lot of pinnacles. Um, and at first they were coming reverse. Those knights were coming reverse. So it's possible we're working on, you know, feeling lovely in who we are, feeling lovely in our bodies, feeling sensual and sexy, um, and how that is combined with our loving relationships with the people we share love with, um, could be our partners. Um, it does feel more like a partner energy. Um, okay. So that's kind of, um, a theme that I'm feeling is kind of, is coming out. Okay. Aquarius, three more cards. Um, and having a good balance between our own sensual needs, our own needs in a relationship, our own, um, the attention we receive, having a good balance between that and also being able to give that back, that reciprocal energy, right? We love to feel that, especially as women, we love to feel that, but men love to feel it too. You know, it's true. Okay, Aquarius. Three of these. Aquarius. 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 Woohoohoo! Slide now, slide now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Healing, new visions, and the outsider. Oof. Some of us could feel very much like in our families or in, in the family dynamics. Um, we don't always feel like we're part of it. Sometimes we may feel like we're being excluded from things. Um, there's a healing journey happening here, whether it's physical or it's emotional, psychological, spiritual, uh, mental. There's some healing journey about how 
we are perceived by others and our family and our social groups in, in work, career, there's a healing process that's being brought up for you at this time that probably feels very uncomfortable. It's reminding you of your childhood possibly and the things that you went through that made you feel unwelcome, things that made you feel um, not part of the rest of the group. Okay, look at these cards. Healing, right? This could be physical, psychological, mental, emotional, spiritual healing, right? New vision, is that what it is? Yes, new vision. So creating this new vision of who we are. We are not our stories. We are not our past. They help shape us, but it's not all of it, right? We are now free to recreate what they gave us. That bullshit that they handed us, we don't need it. you one of these cool little cards a new deck of mine uh what's this called uh oh should we take it yeah let's take it it fell the little cards they are all let's see each card has a different doorway or entryway or opening they're so cool i mean look at them like all these little doors, right? Pretty cool. Okay, so let's see the one that fell out for you. It says, it says, I added an extra syllable. Passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. So, yeah. Girlfriend, boyfriend, homie, love a friend. You're going through transitions. Not easy, but um, super important I think we have time for one more card Aquarius just pulled this this sexy beast out of the um, the collection and I'm using her for you guys she's very special I used to use her a lot during hard times very connected to her. Aquarius, please. Aquarius, my camera's going to shut off. I'll go ahead and turn it back on. I'll just shuffle through this um, because I've been extending the videos ever so slightly for everybody this month. September 2020 or whenever you find this, whenever it finds you. Perfect timing, divine timing. It was meant for you right now. Aquarius, and cut, 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 pull one card off the top, I was looking for the book, ooh, five of water, so fives are numbers of challenges and change, okay, so we're looking at situations where you're having to go deep, right, water, water symbolizes emotions and um, intuition, so you're probably very intuitive, all right, you're having to kind of delve into areas that feel probably kind of uncomfortable at this time. Let me go ahead and pull the book. Five. Five of water. The five of water represents feelings of fear, doubt, and hopelessness that can cloud our minds and hearts and give rise to confusion misunderstandings, and anger. These emotions are often born of our own pain or insecurities and can cloud our ability to see the love that surrounds us. All too often, when we experience a moment of great hurt or loss, we can feel alone, as if no one could possibly understand the depths, the depth of anguish we are feeling. Whether it be the end of a marriage or there we go. Whether it be the end of a marriage or friendship, the death of a loved one, or a battle with mental illness, we can sometimes find ourselves weighed down by pain and suffering and blind to the beauty and love that surrounds us. Loss of any kind causes us to experience a range of emotions, including sadness, fear, confusion, guilt, regret, anger, and betrayal. 
Sometimes we can even experience a complete absence of emotion, right? The opposite. So like detaching. To think of the future serves only to add to the burden of sorrow because we all, all hope seems gone. The five of water is a challenging card because it is not one that offers any real comfort. Gee, fucking thanks. Loss is something we all experience. And if we already, if, if we, oops, skip the page. Way to go. And if we are already vulnerable and sensitive to hurt, then it can be overwhelming. The death of a loved one, the loss of a friend, being betrayed by someone we trusted and loved, there are no words or comfort that will lessen the pain we feel. The five of water symbolizes the need to allow yourself to work through your grief and to take as much time as you need. Allow the emotions to flow and flow along with them, but not to the extent that they threaten to overwhelm you or have you lashing out at others. You need to remember that you have people around you who love you. Look up. While you may feel alone, you are not. There are people around you who have also experienced loss. They know. They understand. Allow them to be there for you in your time of need. It's also a reminder that it's okay to feel down sometimes. Okay. That grief, even if it's grief is something that happened a while, like a long, a while ago, a long time ago, even. Um, they're going to come back up every now and then so that they can be healed on a deeper level. Healing happens in cycles. It's, you know what I mean? It goes deeper and deep over time, deeper and deeper over time. Okay, Aquarius, I love you guys. I um, appreciate you. And I'll see you guys next week, okay? Take care. Bye.